Welcome back to the 40-year-old F.U.Q. boys. It's your man, Don Wannabe. And I go by the name Black Pegasus. And today we're talking about a new, virulent strain of STD that is on the horizon. Man, we just keep getting the fucking hits. Yo, it's effed up when you have superheroes like Black Panther Pass and then the new super... Hero is super gonorrhea. Yo, before we get into that, don't forget to like, share, comment on all the content, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's get into this. Thank you for being some man. Uh, 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 uh. 40 years super down Ghana, the road huh? back again. FUQ. Yeah, God bless us all. Where do you find this shit, Don Wannabe? Because I have not heard of this, and I mean... This is, sounds ridiculous. Did this just, is this new? Oh, December 23rd. Dang, it's kind of new. About yeah. a week old. So basically, you know, um, Super you live in that fuck life. Wildfire. You know what I'm saying? And uh, dude, my shit's just burning. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just keep a supply of, you know, uh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the old antibiotics on the shelf. So I start popping it and it's like, this shit is still burning. I got one once, but it was only gonorrhea. Yeah, shout out to ODB. So they tell me. Give it for, for, funky for y'all. Nah, so apparently what happened in reality, I don't have fucking gonorrhea. Thank God I've never actually gotten an STD. Mm. Even though I thought I, I never had I thought I got a fucking condom. Like one time, you know, I wrapped my shit in saran wrap because this girl was sus. But outside of that, you know, that's about Did you the really? Worst. Or is that a joke? Uh, that is a joke. Okay. I was about to be like, this <laughs> motherfucker probably did that shit. I'm like, yo, do you have protection? I wanted to hit so bad. I was just thinking if you put your dick in saran wrap, how would you wrap that shit? So like, cause the skeet is like, it's going to come out. Like, you Dude, know what I, I mean? Have to do saran wrap and duct tape. If you can't, if you can't duck it, fuck it. Yeah, true. Or okay. Duck it, then fuck it. What the fuck is going on? How did this come up? What is it? Dude, I'm not, I'm not familiar. people are fucking idiots, right? So this is what happens, right? People are fucking morons. And so, you know, this, this type of shit happens regardless, right? Is it people like, oh, I feel like I'm getting sick. So they take antibiotics. Ah, uh, You know yep. how hella people will do that? Like, yep. I know people that will do I, that. I don't like that, but I get it. I get the, the thinking. Yeah. No, I know people that have done that is what I'm saying. Like I don't fucking take antibiotics right? because it wrecks your immune system. Yes. But and it wrecks your gut flora because yes. antibiotics actually we'll kill get back the good to that in a second. and bad bacteria in your yeah, gut. Exactly. And you need good bacteria to be Yeah. So apparently system. because of COVID people have been like so freaked out that every time that they're like, <laughs> Oh shit. So they run and grab antibiotics mm-hmm. and they're out there like doing fuck shit. And getting these STDs and they're not taking like the full cycle of the, the antibiotics right. that they should be taking. And so they have gonorrhea and then this fucking, you know, strain is getting stronger because it's basically like in it's the adapting gym. to the antibiotic. Yeah, when you take just like a little bit of antibiotics mm-hmm. and you have gonorrhea, it's like basically taking gonorrhea to CrossFit. The, okay, two things that I'm, I'm imagining happen. So one, people are taking this antibiotic because they're feeling sick. They're fucking, they get gonorrhea because yep. they're taking this antibiotic. They don't feel the full symptoms of the gonorrhea until they stop taking the antibiotic. They didn't take the antibiotic long enough. So then the full symptom comes. They're like, oh shit, what the fuck? They go to the doctor. The doctor gives them another antibiotic, but now this thing is already somewhat antibiotic resistant. Maybe, but... Well, I'm just basing that off of because this isn't so you're saying super gonorrhea, but there's things called super bugs. Yes. And this is what was happening as well with children in hospitals, because what happens is they start prescribing antibiotics for everything. Yeah. Yep. And then if it doesn't work, you know, yeah, there's and, like and, MRSA, and, and, there's all and these things like, develop into super bugs. So I was taking that kind of concept, which no scientist here. So yeah. maybe my concept is a little bit off, but the basics of what, what I've heard from that sounds kind of yes. like, well, that's what's going on. And now you have super gonorrhea because people are idiots. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's basically what the concept is. But for, for gonorrhea to spread and for super gonorrhea to oh, spread, this, dude, these motherfuckers... Take the Petri dish off, bro. Yo. I'm so tired of looking at that Petri dish. <laughs> that shit makes me want to grab my dick, man. Yo, Fuck. What, what's You got to take it off there, bud. What's fucked up is that... Um, uh, this dude's about to throw up Ugh. in the Petri dish. 
Dude, what's fucked up is that for this shit to spread, there has to be some filthy fucks out there that have this super gonorrhea and they're out there just beating cheeks and spreading the super gonorrhea. And, and what's even more fucked up is these fuckers thought that they had COVID at some point. So they're out there fucking like, oh, I'm going to die. I need to just get it in one more time. You want to know what's fucked up about it is to pass gonorrhea. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. You're fucking multiple people. That's what I'm getting at. So like you're, you're, you know, you, you fucked this bitch. Dick. You know, you fuck this bitch raw and you fucking this other bitch raw and another bitch raw or vice versa. This bitch, yes. you know, she just fucked the San Antonio Spurs. Yep. And now and she they're like, throwing that around like <laughs> now she like, at your crib like don i miss you where have you been i'd be like damn this damn girl you hot tonight it's extra hot it's extra spicy tonight yeah you fucking skeeting in hell yes yeah the lake man. of fire you're like the <laughs> lake of fire never felt so good yoga yoga fire flame what was that from the video game yoga, yoga flame yoga flame, flame. Yeah. yoga flame she's spitting that yoga flame on that dude yeah dude that shit is filthy bro and apparently it fucking burns like it hurts like a motherfucker when you piss yeah so it's like you gotta uh, i've know. never i've never had i one time uh, i thought one time i thought I had it, but it was like my mind because I hit this chick raw and I was just like, oh my God, I no, have it. I had the same similar and, and, shit. And I had it. It was like, I'm tingling when I pee. Yes, exactly. But it didn't hurt. But I was like, oh my God, I have it. And then yeah. I went to get tested at Young Planned Parenthood and they gave me the cocktail. They're just like, well, just if you think you have it, take the cocktail. And I'm like, okay. So I take the cocktail. Then a few days later, I'm like, oh, it's gone. The yeah. tingling's gone. Then they call me. They're like, your test was negative. You never had Dude, anything. I and I was pretty like, what? Much had the exact same thing. I was happened. like, no, I had it, B. My shit's dripping, B. It's tingling. She's like, no, Dude, what's no, so you fucked didn't have up it. Is that it was like, like pre ejaculate I was having wet dreams. And then I just, my mind, it's like when you think spiders are on, you're like, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're just like, oh, my dick's tingling. No, Weird. if you like hit it too hard, like it, like, yeah, you can like. It'll just get sensitive because yeah. I had the same shit happen. I went to my doctor and it's so fucking weird because he's just like holding it, like fucking staring into it. Like, oh, you must have got it in the old school because, bro, <laughs> he's like, oh, no, this is Oh, you fine. went to your doctor, though. He was like, have you been having a lot of sex recently? He I was, was like, like, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> he's like, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, that doesn't taste like gonorrhea to me, sir. Oh, God. Yo, um, you hit, said something, though, about like. How antibiotics fuck up your gut flora, the yes. good flora and mm -hmm. the bad flora. Yeah. They it, like eliminate both or something. They take them all. Yes. So do you know like what the new science is around how they're like helping people's gut flora and everything? No. Dude, they're doing. Spermicidal. Shit. They're doing poo transplants. I've heard of this. You've just said it before. God damn it. Yes. Motherfuckers could just take probiotics and eat healthy. But that's they could just, eat kimchi it, and drink fucking kombucha, and and they're getting a I shit guess, transplant. I guess though that there's certain so that that's like a very specific type of like you know bacteria or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I guess what they're finding is that there's just different type. I guess there's tribes in Africa that will like wipe their booty just like a little bit when the baby's born, and then put it on their lips, so that they get. The bacteria that yeah. they need so that they don't get sick. And I guess it's like actually good for the babies because it like builds up their gut flora. Bro, I told you I watched this doctor talking about children and he was saying, and all of us, didn't you try to eat dirt when you were young? Yes. And, and, and I, it makes I did, perfect sense. But he broke it down. He said, we have six tonsils. And the reason you're trying to eat dirt when you're young and do all this stuff, because naturally... Um, um, you're trying to build up your immune system and your tonsils yes. start sensing the bacteria, the virus, all that stuff and reading it and start giving your immune system information to build your immune system. And I tripped me out because I went to Target with my daughter. She lays on the concrete and just starts kissing the floor. And then she's kissing mirrors. And yesterday she was like this <laughs> oh, on the wall. I know, dude. And, but it's like kids. And I was like, what is she doing? Then it reminded me of this doctor saying this. It was on YouTube and he's breaking it down. He's like, you're like, they're naturally instinct and i remember eating dirt when i was young i was like yes. oh you have a natural instinct your instincts are correct and you're one with nature you're more one with nature when you're young and you're just like yo your body's just like let's build this immune system yes and in this era where we're not meeting people and not around people with bacteria the kids are going to just start licking toys at the damn uh, at, the, at the park yes 
Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it, that it makes is, sense, but it sounds nasty as hell. It does sound nasty as fuck. So they actually have done like experiments mm -hmm. where they've taken feces. Let's use the clinical term for the scientific data that I'm about to drop on your ass. They've taken feces from a fat mouse and implanted it into a skinny mouse. And the skinny mouse becomes fat. But if you take feces from the skinny, skinny mouse, mouse and plants it into a fat mouse, you get a mortis mouse. Exactly. <laughs> so I was actually writing this shit down for the podcast and my son goes and sees my fucking notebook and he's like, poop transplants. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, dad, what are you doing? What are you talking about? What do you mean poop transplants? So I have to explain to him like what that means. Yeah, it's not you just putting. Yeah, on it's your like dick. yeah, it's like, yeah. I'll come here, buddy. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, "What are you writing, Dad? What is wrong with you?" And I explained to him what I just dropped, and he's like, "Yeah, you're dropping shit." So he looks at me and he's like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "So if you took poo from mom and implanted it into you, you'd get all buff." And if you took your poo and put it in mom, she'd turn all fat. <laughs> I was like, you motherfucker. You're like, son, you're going to catch these hands uh, and yes. a piece of shit in the <laughs> yes, night. Exactly. You're going to be chewing on some turds. So like, hey, son, now you can <laughs> run as fast as me. You're welcome. You know what's wild, though, is like, do you remember all the like fucked up like sexual shit that we used to talk about when we were kids? Like you and I would clown and we'd be yeah. like, yo, that chick got a filthy Sanchez. Yep. Now it's like that's a healthy outlook on life <laughs> exactly man i remember my cousin like when i was like 11 years old we were going back and forth he's like oh a, a dirty hot carl uh, yes a hot carl <laughs> he was like a dirty pirate and i'm like what's that you know i'm all young and innocent he's like that's when you bust a nut in your girlfriend's eye then kick her in the shin and she hobbles after you like ah. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? And at one point, he's <laughs> like, <laughs> my brother, my brother made up the Alaskan pipeline. <laughs> what was that? He's like, where you shit in a condom and freeze it and then fuck a girl with it. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Ah. So one of the things that my cousin said was space docking. And I was like, what's oh, that? Fuck. He's like, that's when you that's poop so nasty. in another guy's ass. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mind blown. Fucking totally grossed out, but that motherfucker was a pioneer. He was literally at groundbreaking science. There we go. Well, we want to know what you guys think of this groundbreaking science and fucking super gonorrhea. Do you have it? I, you mother, I bet our fans have super gonorrhea. I would probably, Ooh, I'd probably be What are you trying to, to say about our fans? I say our fans Do are fire. I'm saying our fans are fire. <laughs> our fans are spitting flames. They're literally their spitting flames. Penises. At what about vaginas, bro? Why are you leaving out the women? We have women fans. Because I'm not trying to say that our uh, female fans are hoes, but apparently hey, you want to demean equal opportunity strong, lender. beautiful women that listen to our p -p 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 podcast. Yo, for all my beautiful women out there that are spitting that hot flame, that yoga flame out your coochie cooch, it's all good. Yeah. Just get your life together, people. When you get 40 like us, you start to be mature. As our podcast is. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, share, comment on yeah, all the content. Right. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and let us know what you think about super gonorrhea and poop transplants. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. FUQ boys. 40. Okay. I'm reloaded. It's time to go live. Time to